Hi, this is Rian from Must Be Noob. In this lab guide, we will be creating a capture image in WTS Server 2019. You can use capture image to create a reference image of a sysprep or Windows operating system and deploy it on your network. The boot image is used to deploy installation image on computers using WDS. A capture image is created from an existing boot image on your WDS server. Let's open WDS Management Console to create a new capture image. For that, we need to click on the Start button and let's click on Windows Admin Tools. Let's double click on Windows Deployment Services. On Management Console, expand Servers and expand your server name. Then we need to click on Boot Images. Whatever boot images you have on your WDS server will be listed under Boot Images folder. For this lab guide, we have a one boot image with the name Microsoft Windows 10 setup. In past lab guide, we have added the boot image and install image of Windows 10 operating system on our WDS server. To create a new capture image, we need to select the existing boot image, right click on it and select create capture image. That is going to start a new wizard for us. Provide a capture image name, image description, file name and location where you would like to place this file. Let's give a image name or Windows 10 capture image. Let's copy the same image name and paste under image description. Now let's click on browse. Let's click on this PC. Double click on a D drive and let me create a one folder. Let's give name capture image, double click on that folder and let's specify the name Windows 10 capture image. The extension will be .wim. Let's click on open. So now our location is d colon slash capture image slash Windows 10 capture image dot .wim file. Let's click on next. This wizard will take some time to create a capture image from our existing boot image. The capture image is created successfully. If you want to add that image to your WDS server, select the checkbox. But I'm not going to select it because we want to manually add that image as a boot image. Let's click on finish. Let's open File Explorer. Click on this PC and uh, let's double click on a D drive. Here we can verify that we have a new capture image with the name Windows 10 Capture Image .wim. Before we can use this capture image to capture a reference image of Windows 10, we need to add this image as a boot image on our WDS server. Let's cancel it. Let's click on Boot Images folder, right click on it and select Add a new boot image. Click on Browse, select the location, which is Windows 10 Capture Image .wim. Click on Open, click on Next, provide image name and image description, but we are going to use the default one. Click on Next, Next again and wait for a few seconds to add this boot image on our local WDS server. The capture image is successfully added to our server. Let's click on Finish to close this wizard. And now we can verify that we have a two boot image on our WDS server. One for normal installation of Windows 10 operating system and the second one is to capture a reference image of Windows 10 operating system. In this lab guide, we have seen the steps to create a capture image by using existing boot image on WDS Server 2019.